So welcome back for another video and today gonna be going through my usual routine as a software engineer but with a little twist. Gonna be checking out these AR glasses by Xreal and mainly just want to see how they can improve my productivity and see if they offer some kind of entertainment. So first let me show you what you get in the kit. Pretty intricate packaging for the actual glasses themselves and you're gonna want to be careful because you get this addition of prescription lens frame two additional nose pads the glasses which come in this nice soft case and lastly we have just some additional cables and the x-ray beam which is pretty much the controller of the whole thing and with the x-ray beam you can screencast from any of your devices test the glasses with my breakfast i usually catch up on youtube videos or the news let's see what the messy hype is about the sound also comes in nice and crisp i'm using airplay to cast to the x-ray beam so far so good Usually I do ride my bike to the office, but because I'm working from home, I still want to test out the AR glasses to see if they'll be useful while riding. So let's take it for a spin. Here AR biking can get interesting. Imagine having a heads up display for all your info, something like this. Or even navigation arrows like this. That was kind of fun, however, look at these, um, they're like, the material on these are like such grease magnets and the fact that my skin is the oily type just doesn't help there. It was still kind of fun, even though I was screencasting my phone to see my bike info and navigation, but I see lots of potential coming out of these, especially when there's like native support from these brands and companies. Alright, so now I'm going to link these up to my computer and try to test out my development workflow and see how these hold up. However, I didn't find like a screen recording option in the settings menu, so I'll try to give you guys the best representation of what I'm seeing. Now this is where I believe the glasses shine. It essentially becomes a portable monitor for your Mac or Windows computer. This way you can maximize your productivity and improve your time management. This would be so helpful on the go, which I will demonstrate later. So while testing these glasses up here, I did find that they may struggle with these very light environments. 
I'm guessing that's why they throw in this extra kind of lens cover here so you can prop on top of it and still enjoy your content fully. So now it's complete blackout. While using the extra glasses in a public space, I noticed another key benefit for using AR as a workspace. Privacy. No one can entirely see what you're working on or looking at. I see this being perfect for when you are on a flight or when you're traveling but want to work with up to three different screens. Anyways, at this time of day I'm typically doing more personal work. In this case, I'm working on a freelance project for a client. Did you know about 76% of professional developers write code outside of work or study? I wonder how healthy this is long term. Though on the surface, the work hours seem very flexible. It usually comes with having to learn new things all the time. Even I struggle with this. After coding for several years now, I've learned to be efficient with my time and to simply try to find a balance. So that pretty much wraps it up. Pretty different, of course. But overall, it was a pretty fun experience testing out the X-Real Air and the X-Real Beam. Let me know if you're into AR or if you think this could also be the future of interfaces and the way we enjoy content. It's a pretty exciting area and we're seeing lots of growth and lots of investments. But anyways, thanks again for tuning in and I'll be seeing you on the next video.